guys, this is Jack Jackson from wikijackson.com along with Jacob Torres from wikijackson.com. What's up guys? And uh, today we have a quick video for you guys to show you how to customize the carrier logo on any iPhone. Um, so basically this will work on any non-jailbroken device. Uh, you do not have to be jailbroken in order to run this tweak. So uh, just let that be known. Uh, this is currently only on the Mac. It is not on Windows so far as of uh, Saturday. December 29th, 2012. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is go to Safari and uh, go to the page that we linked down in the description for you guys. It uh, links you to jailbreaknation.com. Some of you may be familiar with it if you are uh, a veteran in the jailbreaking community. Okay, so then when you get to this page, there's going to be a download button right here in red font. You're going to go ahead and click that. I just downloaded it right now, and it's in my downloads folder. It's going to give you a carrier editor uh, hyphen 1.0.5 DMG fi file. And uh, then when you unzip that, you're going to get a carrier editor drive on your desktop. Okay, when you open it up, you're going to get three uh, little items here a carrier editor, readme.txt, and a Zeppelin logos folder. Now, the carrier editor, you're going to go ahead and drag that to your applications. Uh, the readme.txt is just for you to read if you want to go over any further instructions. And the Zeppelin Logos folder is what contains the uh, pre-made pre -made, uh, carrier logos. Now, we're going to show you how to make your own custom one in this uh, video today. So what you up? won't really need these unless you want to just use whatever is ready here. Right, so if you decide to not... Uh create your own or download the one that we give you in the description also found at wikijackson.com you could easily use one of those pre-made ones okay so um, after you've got uh, everything sorted out you're gonna want to open up fireworks okay when you open up fireworks you're gonna create a new fireworks document and you're gonna want the width 35 and the height 40 pixels it makes it make sure it's a transparent canvas color when it's opened, you probably want to go to preferably 800%, so it's a nice view. And then for now, to make this a simple tutorial, we're just going to make two letters, W and J, to symbolize Wiki Jackson. We're going to put that in the canvas right here. And our font selection is going to be 25, because that perfectly fits the 30 by 35 by 40. And uh, make sure it is uh, white. Um, for ease of access, when you're editing the uh, logo or whatever you want to do, you can change it to a different color just so that you can see what you're working with, but make sure you change it back to white uh, after you're done or else it won't look right on the status bar when it's finalized. That is correct. And uh, for for our own purposes, for our own personal wants, we, we chose Bionic Comic Bold. We chose bold so it would give a, a more broad look to it and okay so once you have finished your logo and ours is done right there you're gonna want to save it as uh, black at 2x.png um, now I'm not sure why these were named this way um, I'm pretty sure this one was named because the status bar is going to be black at this moment in time but uh, make sure the names are right and if you are familiar with iFile and you are uh, a veteran to the jailbreaking community then you may know that file names do have to be exactly correct or else things like this won't work so you're gonna save that we're just gonna save ours on the desktop for ease of access and also you're going to want to edit another one uh, one that may pop more I guess you could say um, we're going to do this by adding an inner bevel and we're gonna edit uh, some of the properties here you can go ahead and pause the video uh, when we're done so that you can see everything that we've done Okay, so you can see that this second logo kind of pops a little bit more since we added this inner bevel, and that's what you want for the second picture to have. So like I said, you could just do exactly what we did, especially if you're doing something with text or vectors. Okay, so you're going to want to save this uh, file as, or Shift-Command-S on a Mac, Shift-Control-S on a Windows, and we're going to rename this one as etched at 2 xpng Etched is spelled E-T-C-H-E-D. Right, make sure that everything is spelled correct, or as I said before, it will not work. So you're just going to save that in the same location, and we're done with the logo making part. Okay, so now we're going to open up the application that came in that package called Carrier Editor. And now we're actually going to do switch to the iPhone side of the video. And uh, for this next part, we're going to need to go into the settings. 
and um, let me just get a better focus on this right here we're going to go into general about and scroll down to where it says carrier right here now you notice that it right by right by it it says Verizon 13.3 uh, this will vary depending on your carrier and uh, iPhone model so ours does say 13.3 so we're gonna click let's get started back at the computer and right where it says carrier version number it, we're going to enter 13.3 once that's done, you just want to click next. Okay, and right here we're going to choose the device to be an iPhone, and the carrier to be Verizon because we are on Verizon's LTE network. By the way, just in case you didn't notice, this is an iPhone 5 that we're using. Okay, so once we're done with that, you're going to click next, and also this will work on any other iPhones uh, or any iDevices that allows you to get um, 3G or LTE. Okay, now we're going back to the computer. Uh, once you get to this customization tab, you're going to want to get these two files that we previously made. And you're going to want to get the black at 2x.png and drag that to the top area here. And then you're going to want to get the etched at 2x.png and drag it to the bottom area. You'll notice that everything is labeled for you. And to the right of each of the boxes where you drag the pictures into, uh, there are two examples. So uh, when we say black and etched, uh, those are the two status bars that you'll be seeing uh, when this logo pops up. And uh, where the text says no service and carrier right there, that's where the logo is going to replace, uh, just in case you were confused about that. So after you have those two dragged in, it may not look like they're dragged in because they're a white color, but they are, don't worry. You're going to click this compile carrier update button, and uh, it should create two new files on your desktop. Now please keep those there or move them into a safe folder. Uh, make sure that you always keep these as a reference to back up to in case you ever want to uh, restore to the original logo. Okay, in iTunes you're going to head over to the iPhone tab. Uh, in iTunes 11, it is, the iPhone tab is located right here. You're going to click that and it'll pop up this area right here. And then you're going to see this iPhone 5 center area right here. And then you're going to click the Alt button along with the restore iPhone button right here. And when you click that, it should pop up this. Okay, and also note uh, when a new version of this is released and it's uh, able, you're able to do this on Windows, uh, you're going to want to click Shift and then click the restore iPhone button. Just uh, note that on Windows you click Shift and on Mac you click Alt or Option. That is correct. And then going back to this, this uh, box right here, you're gonna, it's going to automatically go to desktop, and then these two folders, which we previously created in the, the application that we installed earlier, you, you're going to want to click the, the one that does not say original in the title. And when you click that, click open, and that should pop up a little thing right there that goes away very quickly. And now we're going to head over to the iPhone and see what just happened. Okay, so going back over to the iPhone, uh, the changes do take place immediately. So we're just going to pull this up here and get a focus on the new logo. Uh, you can see the WJ right there. Uh, the changes take place immediately. But uh, please note that when you're reverting back to the original Verizon logo, uh, you're going to uh, have to restart your phone and power it back up again. And also uh, to uh, revert back to that original logo, you're going to do the same process as before, except instead of clicking the file that we made that doesn't say original in the name, you're going to click the one that does say original right there. So that's only if you're restoring back. And then you're going to click open and do the whole process and then just restart your phone when you're all done. Alright guys, if you like this video, make sure you rate it up. And if you want to leave a comment or if you have a question, go ahead and leave that in the comment box down below. And uh, for more information, visit wikijackson.com. And you'll be able to find the download source that we have in this uh, video right here. We have this WJ uh, etched in black images in there. And you can download those. And you'll also be able to click on the other link down below in the description, which will take you to the Jailbreak Nation site, uh, where you can download the original uh, application DMG. All right, later, guys. <laughs>